Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the Subterranean Smasher title. So if you don't know what that is, that is for getting the Trifecta in the Cauldron, the new dungeon in Flames of Ambition. And the Trifecta is just the hard mode, the no death and the speed run all in the same run. So it's actually quite easy to do. It's a really easy dungeon, a lot easier than most DLC dungeons. So a lot of you guys should be able to get this pretty quickly with a couple of your friends. So I'm just going to go over all the mechanics that all the bosses do. All the ad pulls are pretty much irrelevant. They don't hurt. There's nothing really to be worried about whatsoever. You can just kill them, you know, using spams. It's it's fine, literally. Okay, guys, so here we are at the first boss. So this boss really is just a parse dummy. So there's only one mechanic you have to do, and you can sort of see it there. He's going to shoot big red sort of poison circles out from his feet, but these move incredibly slowly. Like, if you die to these, like, you're doing something wrong. These are incredibly easy to avoid. All you have to do really is parse on this guy, okay? At certain points in the fight, he's going to spawn little slimes. This is very similar to VKA, if you've been in there, where the little slimes will sort of converge on the boss. All you have to do is keep your AoE damage on the boss, and these slimes will die on their way in. And if you have sort of lower damage in your group, you can't just focus these individually. It's really no problem at all. Uh, another thing it's going to do is it's going to put someone in a bubble. So basically, if you don't break them out of this bubble, they will die. But really simple thing, really weak. So even in the hard mode, a couple of spams. And this bubble will be off your friend and that's literally all you have to do for that boss if you see if an ultimate before going into it it will literally disappear so here we are at the second boss guys so this boss is very similar so again you're just going to stack up rotate on it there's really not that many mechanics so it looks like a lot but it's really not a lot so the main thing to avoid here is that big aoe circle you've just seen him do the big expanding one from his feet if you stand in that you will likely get one hit if you don't stand in that you're more or less fine so you'll see all these little tiny aoe's spawning around the room they really aren't that bad, they don't hurt that much. Obviously, try and avoid them the best you can. It's really easy to avoid them. You just sort of walk around and they don't really hit you. It's quite simple, but if you do get hit by a couple, it really isn't going to do that much damage. And again, we're not using the healer here, so really simple boss, and you just parse on it. So here we are at the third boss, guys. So surprise, surprise, in this dungeon, yet another parse boss. So really not too much to do. You like stand here, do your rotation. He's going to teleport around a couple of times. Uh, you're just going to literally want to just ignore everything he's doing more or less and just move to his new location. At some point, the boss will sort of do a little interrupt move. If you don't interrupt him, it does a lot of damage and can kill you. But as long as your tank, you know, can sort of use his eyes and, you know, hit the bash never, you know, he's meant to hit the bash, you're more or less never going to die in this boss at all. And then there is one more thing, which is slightly an issue. It's he does a big expanding circle, but you can't block that dodge roll it and you can just be out of it. It really doesn't hurt too much, okay? Okay guys, so here we are at the fourth boss. So basically this boss is just a big ad pull. It's really easy to do. So the only real mechanic is you gotta get this oil and you've gotta connect the little outer circles to the middle circle. So really easy, you run to an outer circle or run to the middle and then you can run from the middle to a different outer circle. Then you get two at a time. So this means that two of the apples are gonna spawn at the same time. If you don't want that, you wanna play it really safe. Just do one at a time, it's no worries, it'll just take a bit longer. Also something to mention, try not to stand on the line where you drew the oil because it will, you know, sort of explode in the big fire blue explosion. It won't one hit you, but if you're low health already, it will do about 10k damage, so you will take a lot of damage from it and you could potentially die. So in these apples, it's really simple to do. All you have to do really is just get your cleave down. Uh, Tank needs to make sure he taunts the Colossuses and he needs to taunt dead drops whenever they spawn. Everything else can sort of run free. But more or less, as long as the tank has taunt off the Daedroths and taunt off the Colossus, you're not going to die too much. Uh, another small mechanic is if you kill a Storm Atronach, it will actually explode and do a sort of a big AoE and it will knock you back and hurt for a decent amount. So if you, for example, get hit by that and then, you know, land in the cleave of like a, a Daedroth, you might die. So just be aware of that and try and stay out of it when you kill these Storm Atronachs. Also, a really helpful tip for this is if you're in a group and you know the people, if you sort of all stack up kind of close together, all of the ads will have a really easy time of stacking up, so you'll get more damage than your cleave. So here we are the last boss guys okay so basically all you're going to want to do is stand here parse on the boss okay so for the first like 10 20 percent he's really not going to do too much apart from attack the tank he is going to spawn these little walls but these are really sort of not a threat whatsoever they just sort of are walls you know what i mean you can destroy them and cleave it's no problem uh you're gonna see this little ghost mechanic that i've just picked up there so it's a synergy basically what that does is let you one hit the little walls that spawn 
So obviously the objective of these walls is to block your path when you're rotating. And the reason it's trying to do that is because there is going to be a flame wall. So there's going to be a flame wall to your left and one to your right. So obviously we're quite close to the one on the left. So we are trying to move to the right to avoid that wall. So it's pretty important that you sort of constantly move to the right whenever that wall is moving with you. And just to make sure you don't get hit by it because it is an instant kill. You cannot roll through it or anything. And it's sort of important to get that synergy of the ghost every time it's up just because you need to destroy the walls or you will get your path blocked and then you're in danger of getting hit by the wall. So another mechanic that happens is that you will get big lightning circles around two players feet. So these on their own really don't do too much damage, they're really not too hard to deal with but if you stack them you'll start taking a decent amount of damage, particularly on the DDs. So you want to try and make sure you're not stacking those, it can be a little bit awkward whenever you're in the fire and the firewall is right beside you. But basically what you want to do is try and stay in the middle of the firewalls. So you've always got a bit of time to separate if you get these lightning AOEs. So the main thing to do here is to focus on the boss and let everything cleave. So if you have a little bit lower damage in your group, what you want to do is you want to tap target the day drops when they're up. Because the day drops are what are going to be really taking a toll on your tank. So your tank stamina is going to be drained. You know, they do hit reasonably hard on the tank and there can't be multiple. So if you have a little bit lower damage, you want to be focusing on the day drops just to help your tank out. Make sure everything goes smooth. But if you have quite high damage and there's three DDs, you can more or less just, you know, put all your cleave down and they'll die in cleave. Um, he'll also stab his sword into the ground to do little fire geysers. These really aren't, you know, don't hurt too much as long as you don't stand on them for a long period of time. You're generally moving a lot in this fight anyway, so not too much of an issue. But anyway, guys, that is the subterranean smasher guide or the trifecta of the cauldron. So hopefully you guys can use this information and go and get this for yourselves. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like on it, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you next time.